chasing the check, dropping the top, riding the vet, feeling myself, what you expect, you know I'm with it, no better feeling, cause I could have quit, but I didn't, 007 when I'm on a mission, moving it up to a better position, what's going on YouTube world, Charles Hutchinson here, and today man, we got a different thing man, we got the True Cut Gloss, not, not the Storm stuff, not the Reactor Gloss, True Cut Gloss, uh, so shout out to Ron Hicklin and creating a difference, uh, this is supposed to kind of smooth out the ball, your ball reaction. So if there's, you know, a tougher pattern, you need to, everything's overreacting, should be able to go to this and smooth out. It still should go through the pins. And that's what we're here to find out, man. So again, we're gonna put this on my Deviate Hellcat uh, Accelerate. I'm a, but first, we're gonna throw a couple shots before I do anything to it. So we have a baseline, and then we're gonna apply this and see what the ball reaction uh, goes into. Uh, and then again, this is a special process. So this is not something I would do, you know, you gotta pre-plan this, premeditate uh, how you're gonna use this because it says to let it sit for 30 minutes after applying. It's not something you just rub on a ball and then just go. Uh, so you, again, you have to think about that. So there is a process and you need to follow the process if you want the maximum results. So yeah, man, that's a lot, little bit of talking and we're gonna go again, get our baseline going. So appreciate you guys. If you like what you're seeing, use the links below, uh, pick this up. I think you probably gotta go to creativedifference.com to get this particular item. So yeah, but if you like to accelerate and not, it probably should be going to discount soon. So grab one of these two. So we changed a little bit, uh, and I'm gonna do the Katana Strike action. I think this ball hooks a little bit more. So we should be able to see a pretty significant difference. Oh. First shot. Shot number two. Yeah. Oh. Get a little more aggressive with my hand. Play a little straighter. Jumping my feet to 14. So this house shot <laughs> a little more volume. So again, typically a lot of the videos that you guys have seen, you know, everything kind of hooks a little bit. But now, a lot, lot flatter. So, keep that in mind. You guys asked for a flatter pattern, you're getting some. Seems to have plenty of hook. Around it pretty good. That hooked. <laughs> that definitely hooked. So, yeah, we're gonna jump one more shot, then we're gonna apply the reactor gloss. Kind of strikes. So again, I definitely play straighter with this ball if I wanted to, and actually relatively comfortable. And then move left, open my hand up, get around it a little bit more, making sure again it sees the back end. Oh um, yeah. So we'll be right back. All right, so. Now we have it nice and shined up. Reactive gloss style. So let's see. First shot. Stand on 20. So I don't know if I mentioned it before, but you have to put 500 under something and then add, again, the compound or gloss on top. Still got some teeth under. Yeah. See, 
been pretty smooth. Uh, let's move further left and see if, again, it still has that little smoother arcing look. All right. Moving to 25. So definitely, again, like that didn't change directions like as crazy. Um, so let's keep throwing a couple shots. A little less commentary. So definitely, again, from the original service, which was like 1500, no, probably like close to 2000, like it's definitely cleaner and it's still going through the pins. And actually, that was the, the most concerning part of, again, seeing it like, oh, it's going to smooth stuff out, but is it going to continue? So far, so good. Before, if I got that part of the lane, I think it would break, break off, you know, go Brooklyn, you know, or face. So let's see if I can keep it close to the pocket and see if it still continues to lay there. So definitely getting not over responded. So. I got my Volk right here. So I'm just gonna try to paint it close to the pocket and see if it lays there or it takes off. I mean, that's a little fun to carry, but again, it picked up and broke off. So I'm gonna throw the strike from the same spot. that was me but definitely didn't cross over definitely pushed a little bit more so I fell off that shot throw another one all right go to evoke one more time all right so evoke more on top of it and see if this gives us a nice comfortable look okay so still hooks and again I think if I'm on a pattern or, or I really saw once it's response to friction coming from the oil and then getting out right it smoothed out that reaction it wasn't nearly as violent Yes, I'm on top of it right there and it's still hooked, uh, but I was expecting that. But let's throw another one. So, again, actually I'm liking this, man. I think for some balls that are just a little too violent, uh, this can, you know, take some of those bigger equipment and we want it to make them usable. React to gloss is definitely an option uh, for you. Uh, this Katana Strike, it hooks, as you saw from those earlier shots. Uh, and this, again, I feel like it made it more usable. I think I got to the pocket and struck a lot more. So, uh, yeah, man, this is another tool in the arsenal. So, again, if you're interested in True Cut Gloss, I was hopeful I was able to give you a little more information. Um, again, get over to Create a Difference uh, YouTube channel. They have a lot of information over there uh, that can even you know, highlight things even more for you. Uh, but, yeah, so that is it for me. I'll keep this short today. Hope you liked it. We out. Counting it up, forming a plan. Ain't buying no chain till I buy me some land. Making a way to buy my estate. Boat on the lake, plus one in the bay. Yeah. What can I say? I want it all.